Now we unboxing it. We're gonna see what it really looks like. Oh man, looks like it does not have one single dent. You see any dents? No dents. I don't see no dents. Yay! I got it with no dents. I'm gonna give you a quick review of my Panda portable washer. It's a 6360W. I love it. I've had it almost a month. Okay, this is the washer. I will show you how much space it takes up in my world, which is a lot because um, I have traveled for six years full time for work. So I live in a 23 foot travel trailer. Um, these are the controls. They're very simple and it's got a book that even explains them. Um, power, start, delay, program, and water level. Okay, you can pick the water level. I almost always use it at four. You can add a little water, like you can do three, and it'll let you hold that down and add water if you want to. These are different standard ones. I use the standard one most of the time, which is a 45-minute cycle. It's a wash and two rinses. Okay. Um, it comes with a hose. Here's the power cord. Comes with the power cord, obviously. I plug it in right over here. Um, I use a high-efficiency detergent, which is what they recommend you use. Um, and then here is their drain cord. It's attached and it comes with this as well and it has that little crook in it already. This part attaches right here when you're storing it to the side of your washer so it just stores there. And then you put that over your sink or in my case, I put it over the shower. You can put it over the tub. Um, I have added these little um, catchers on the end of the hose that are like additional filters because your washer doesn't get all of the lint out and it'll stop you from your drains. So I use those, um, I'll probably review those too. I don't know if I'll put a video for them, but they're really good. They're really inexpensive and they just zip tie on and I usually use them for like 10 loads and then I throw them out. Um, this is a Ninja laundry alternative spinner. I use that as well. Um, totally separate from Panda, although I think Panda makes one as well. They just were out of it when I ordered my Ninja, and I really like it. That goes 3,200 revolutions per minute, so it spins things almost dry. This, because it's a washer and has a spin cycle, only does 800 revolutions per minute, so it doesn't make them quite as dry. And since, as you can see, it takes up a lot of room in my life, um, I want them to dry as soon as possible, so I do that. I can get, these will usually dry in a couple hours. If I do jeans, they'll dry overnight. Um, so that works really well for me. Um, this is, if you have a travel trailer and you're trying to decide how much room it'll take up, it takes up a lot. Um, there you go, here's my bathroom, right? It takes up all the space. There's my cat who decided she needed to be in the video. Um, there is the load of towels I just did. All of those towels just came out of that machine. And, well, they're clean except for the cat paw, paw prints on them. Um, and those towels all came out of the machine, and I still had room in the machine to wash. Um, but I just didn't want to wash that much yet because I have a lot to dry yet. Um, but that's where it takes up room. Some people I know that don't use their shower, that use facilities as they travel instead, store their washing machine in their shower. Um, if you had a larger camper, you could probably put it somewhere like technically there's room to put it between the bed and the wall, but I just don't trust anything with water that much to where if it leaks, you have to pull it out and have to try and fix it while it's pouring water everywhere. Um, but there you go. There's my review on it so far. I love it. I've had it almost a month and it has been a lifesaver, especially during COVID when I don't want to go to a laundromat.